Monmouth International Centre. Tonight, in our international contest for the Marshall Amplification Trophy, the teams will be competing for a place in the Group B semi-final against Germany. Well, they're already behind me, so let me first introduce the team who beat Scotland, and they are Sweden. And in opposition, the team who knocked out the Czech Republic, and they are Poland. The Latin section opens tonight's contest, and the first dance is a samba. And stepping out for Sweden, it's Dermot Kleminger and Jana Carlsen. Whilst for Poland, it's Marek Gorski and Elspieta Marszałek. Joining me with all the competitors' details are commentator Charles Nove. And to conduct our fine orchestra and singers up there on the stage, the one and only Andy Ross. So, opening the account for Sweden, Dermot Clevenger and Diana Carlson. Dermot left his native Ireland in 1993 and moved to Sweden to team up with Diana. Dermot is 21, Diana is 20, and she was Swedish Latin champion with her previous partner. Together, she and Dermot have won that title three years running. Marek Gorski and Elspieta Marszałek have been gracing the dance floor together for the last nine years. Marek is 25, Elspieta is 24, and the last year for them has included the Latin sections of the Dutch Open and the Central European Championships. In both cases, they finished fifth. They're Poland's third-placed Latin couple. Brazil. Our second Latin dance tonight is the rumba, the dance of love. And here competing for Sweden are Stefan Bostrom and Oasa Vestin. And for Poland, let's welcome Janusz Piawi and Eva Skocheng. Stefan Bostrom is 20, a carpenter by trade and a former Swedish youth champion. Asha Vestin is 25, and she danced as a junior, then decided to take a break. The break lasted eight years, and she returned to dancing in 1994. Stefan and Asha are now second placed in Sweden's amateur Latin ranks. So if you really love me, come on and let it show.
Biaoyi and Deva Scotchen are 28 and 20. They've been pooling their experience as dance partners for four years, and they're full-time students of dance. They finished just outside the final six in the European Cup Latin competition, but on the home front, they're the current Polish Latin champions. I need someone beside me. arrangement of Love is All Around, a big hit in the charts for Wet, Wet, Wet last year. And that brings us to our first marks of this contest, so let me introduce you to our panel of judges who are from Norway. A winner of many medals over the last 20 years in competition, he now specializes in formation dance training, Aril Vespi. Good evening. Our Polish judge competed worldwide for over 25 years and is now a professional adjudicator, Andrzej Jakubowski. <laughs> and finally, from Germany, and acting as our neutral judge, a former world champion, he is well known in this country for winning the British Amateur Dance Championships twice, Horst Beer. <laughs> the first dance in our Latin section was the Samba, so for the comments and collective marks, it's over to Ardo Vespi. Yes, two uh, good couple with uh, a very good rhythmical samba dancing. Uh, however, we decided to give two points to Sweden and one point to Poland. And uh, Andrei Jabakowski, how did you uh, collectively mark the, uh, the rumba? Uh, in the rumba tonight, both couple produced interesting choreography and nice music uh, interpretation. Finally, we decide Sweden, two point, Poland, <laughs> one point. <laughs> so after the first section tonight, Sweden have four and Poland have two. <laughs> now it's the turn of the modern competitors with their two dances. And we start with the quick step, which incidentally evolved from the Charleston, that very energetic dance of the 20s, which featured plenty of leg kicking and arm movement, so much so that in certain quarters it was regarded as too boisterous. And so the flat Charleston was born, followed by the quick step. Years later, it's still as popular as ever. And you'll see why now, as we meet the competitors, and they are Stefan Asov and Frieda Bariestrom for Sweden, <laughs> and competing for Poland, Christoph Kulik and Alexander Niawinska. Stefan Asov and Frida Bergström became their country's amateur modern champions last year. They're both 20 and they were junior champions back in 1991 and 92. Away from the dance floor, Stefan and Frida are both students. His subject is electronics, she's reading law. Kulig and Aleksandra Niawinska were runners-up in the Polish Modern Championship. 
Their ventures abroad have included trips to this country to compete in the UK Championships and a recent attempt on the Central European competition, finishing in fifth place. to the Andy Ross arrangement of What Can I Say After I Say I'm Sorry. I'm sure that's a sentiment echoed by many a dancing partner when things aren't going well. We continue now with the Foxtrot, and here to dance are Klaus Woodstrop and Mia Orman Liljeberg for Sweden, and Robert Kubis and Isabella Jaworska for Poland. Wostrop and Mia Ormandilje-Berg are former holders of the Swedish Modern Championship. And they've reached the semi-final stage of this year's UK Championship and the UK Rising Star Competition. Klaus is 24, Mia is 31, and they've been dancing together for five years. And someday we may be adding a thing or two, a wing or two. We will make changes as an effect. Robert Kubis and Isabella Jaworska are 27 and 25, and they've been dancing together for the last seven years. A couple of years ago, they identified their main ambitions as learning English and improving their dancing. With those in mind, they headed for London, and that remains their temporary base for the time being. The Folks Who Live on the Hill brings our modern section to a close. It's time to join our panel of judges for those all-important marks. The first modern dance tonight was the Quick Step. Can we have your comments and combined marks, please, Arvil Vesby? Yes, it's uh, two quite good couples we see on the floor. And uh, it's difficult for us to make uh, decisions uh, when we see two such good couples. However, we decided to give two points for Poland and one point for Sweden. And now for the uh, Foxtrot, Andrzej Jabakowski. Uh, Foxtrot, the most difficult dance in modern section, was good presented by both couples. Looking over the technical merits, we decide two point Sweden and two point Poland. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Poland wins.
in the modern section. And with two of our four sections now completed, the overall score is Sweden 7 and Poland 6. Before the junior section dancers take the floor, it's time for our cabaret spot. Our guests this evening are no strangers to come dancing, and since their last appearance, this couple have really scaled the dancing heights. We're very proud indeed to welcome back the professional old-time champions, Darren Park and Andrea Kilgour. Time champions Garen Park and Andrea Kilgour, who must surely inspire our 12 to 16 year old junior competitors. So, with the score standing at Sweden 7 and Poland 6, let's meet those juniors. And competing for Sweden, here are Joran Martinson and Petra Friedemann. <laughs> and for Poland, please welcome Rafał Kaworski and Agnieszka Błażewicz. <laughs> Joran Martinson and Pietro Friedemann are both 15, though Joran is just about to turn 16, so his days as a junior are well and truly numbered. Joran and Pietro have won Sweden's Junior Ten Dance Championship. Pretty good, you 
Kavrovsky and Agnieszka Błażewicz are both 15 and they've been dancing together for four years. As well as tackling the junior competitions inside Poland, they've competed abroad, including most recently this year's Open Italian Championships in both Latin and Modern. They finished third in the Latin and won the Modern section. from the junior competitors, dancing to the old Jackie Wilson hit, Reet Petit, and an equally great display of vocal talent from our very own Jimmy Dawn. <laughs> Watching the dancers very closely were our three judges, so with the comments and combined marks, it's over to our neutral judge, Horst Beer. Both couples had a lot of um, rhythmical interpretation and a good interpretation and uh, a lot of body speed as well. And it was a very close decision, so we decided two points for Sweden and two points for Poland as well. Thank you, Thank you. So after three sections, Sweden lead tonight's contest by nine points to eight. And now for the final section of tonight's competition, the formation teams. The 16 members in each team not only have to demonstrate imaginative and intricate choreography, but also include five different rhythms in their overall routine. So first on the floor and representing Sweden, here are the Jöteborgs formation team. <laughs> Until two years ago, there was no international-style formation dancing in Sweden. The most popular form of social dancing there is a style they call boog. But it doesn't lend itself to the world of competition, principally because it has no firm rules, and therefore it can't really be judged. This is the team that started formation off in Sweden, and they showed their growing expertise at this year's Open British Championship, where they finished fourth.
representing Sweden. Now the judges can award up to six points in the formation team section so there's a lot of tension on the floor at the moment because the result of this section decides which team qualifies for next week's Group B semi-final. Well our second team are ready so let's welcome the CMG leader Adam Latin formation team. Can you feel when black music's played in the night. All right! As well as their own trainers, Cesare and Monica Grushka, this team has a little assistance drafted in from Germany with extra coaching by Torsten Schluter, one of the top German formation brains. The team's been together six years. They've won the Polish championship for the last two years. They're currently the fifth-placed formation team in the world. Mama Rafi, 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 Mama
Formation team representing Poland and so with the overall score very close with Sweden on nine and Poland eight anything can happen let's find out how our judges marked this last section firstly Adel Vesby yes it's uh, two very good international team which representing the countries in international championships uh, they're dancing two complete different styles uh, of choreography However, the Polish team is uh, much more experienced than the Swedish, so my marks is two for Poland, one for Sweden. And now, Andrzej Jakubowski. A Bows formation presents us original uh, choreography, but looking uh, for all the quality presented by all the couples, I prefer the Polish uh, team. I give two point Poland and one point Sweden. And now finally, our neutral judge was Beer. Also, I think that the Poland team was the, had the better dancers. So both teams did a very good choreography, good lines, but the dancers, the Polish team were better. So two points for Poland, one point for Sweden. <laughs> tonight's formation team section resulting in an overall final score of Sweden 12 and Poland 14. <laughs> so congratulations to Poland who have won a place in the Group B semi-final next week in our international contest for the Marshall Amplification Trophy. I do hope you'll come dancing with us to see what I'm sure